Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss some Arduino project ideas. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 12. If you're looking for new ways to display messages, then this hologram orbiter might surprise you. It consists of two LED units that rotate at a very high speed to create a persistence of vision effect. Due to this, a visual image of the object appears in space, which can be viewed from any direction. All this is possible due to a motor and a commutator unit placed at the center that makes around 2400 revolutions per minute. With this, you can display pixel animations, pictures, texts, numbers, and much more. Number 11. If you also want to shoot videos with stable and smooth movement, then check out this DIY camera robot. The setup can easily be installed over a tripod, and with a joystick controller, you can move the camera in any direction and record a smooth shot. All thanks to the precise movement of the stepper motors. The controller also has an auto mode where you could set two positions and the camera will move smoothly between them. Another great feature is the time lapse mode in which the camera moves a little bit in each shot. Number 10. While talking of lasers, how can we not include this laser projector in our ideas list? After many trials and errors, Ben was finally able to come up with a design that could display messages up to a distance of 90 feet. To project the image, it uses a laser diode and an array of 12 mirrors, which is rotated using motors. It also includes a Bluetooth module that allows you to operate it using your smartphone from a safe distance. Right now, it can project one line at a time with a maximum of 20 characters, but we can hope for a better version soon. Number 9. If you want to build an affordable stream deck, then check out this project. This deck consists of a multi-layer design. The bottom layer PCB consists of the Arduino and the SD card reader. Above it lies an LCD screen and a spacer insert. The top layer PCB consists of all the button inputs. This layer consists of six programmable keys and two rotary encoders. Each key has four parallelly connected push buttons, which register the input, irrespective of the key pressing direction. The transparent acrylic buttons are placed over this PCB, which is held in place by the top cover. Altium's a PCB design software that's both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. And with all new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. With Octopart, you can get real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. Number 8. Next on the list, we have the Wally robot. Professor Boots tried to build this one cute and tiny with the purpose of delivering gifts. He tried to keep the complete length below 10 centimeters, so he selected the components wisely. He also made sure that the storage compartment worked fine. It has two control modes. In the first mode, it moves randomly on its own and enjoys being free. The second is the Bluetooth mode, where you can control it using a smartphone. You can also customize the buttons for a specific task or a program sequence like this. Number 7. You might have seen a line follower robot before, but was that one faster than this? Nope, the video's not fast forwarded, it's the actual speed of the robot. To start with, Ravi used only those components that were lightweight so that the overall weight of the bot was reduced. Next, he relied on the PID controller that was fast enough to keep the bot on the correct path. It works by regularly checking the robot's deviation from the mean position, and based on this error value, the steering value is calculated. The bot ran with a top speed of 1 meter per second. Number 6. In the good old days, the ZX81 was considered a powerful computer, good enough for text outputs and a basic operating system. To try the same thing with an Arduino, 
Clem came up with a design where he used a small multiplexed keyboard and a 20 by 4 monochrome LCD screen. On the back layer, he used both MCUs and a surface mount package to save on space, along with a pair of battery holders and a power delivery circuitry. The 3D printed case on the outside gives the complete computer the retro look that he aimed for. Number 5. Our next project is a prototype of the parking sensor. It measures the distance using an ultrasonic sensor, but with a twist. Instead of displaying the distance in numbers on an LCD screen, this one actually shows how far the object is from the sensor. In the setup, we can see three ultrasonic sensors, and the distance is visually shown on the small screen. The graphics are designed accordingly for different displays, and each one works perfectly. So which type of display would you like to use in your next project? Number 4. Instead of letting someone else take a picture of your group, you can include this DIY photo booth in your next party. All you need is to stand in front of the screen and press this giant button. Upon pressing, it starts a countdown, and once complete, it displays the captured photograph on the monitor. The outer frame for the booth is made using wooden panels, and to cover up the rough edges, some 3D printed parts are used. The lower section contains all the electronics and a 23-inch monitor, while the upper portion holds the DSLR camera. Number 3. After getting his hands on the new Arduino ESP32 board, Volos decided to make something new. First, he made a simple setup, where he varied the RGB parameters of his circular display. For this, he used three potentiometers, one for changing each color value, and the results were great. In the next setup, he used six push buttons to play the space shooter game. While playing, the round display gave him a better experience as compared to the square one. By the way, which one would you prefer? Tell us in the comments. Number 2. This pocket-sized laser is built mostly of 3D printed parts and is controlled via Bluetooth. Instead of using a linear axis, this project uses a rotational axis to rotate the laser. This makes the design compact and simple. The laser module and mirror gimbals are mounted on a stand made of light aluminum so that the whole thing is suspended directly over a workpiece, and the laser engraver can be safely operated from a smartphone from a distance. The steppers slew the mirror to raster the beam across the workpiece and burn a design. Number 1. This might look like a weird electronics project, but it's actually a 2-in-1 drink temperature monitor. When the cup is placed over the wooden base, the sensor reads the temperature and turns on between 1 and 5 LEDs depending on how hot it is. To measure the temperature without any contact, it uses an infrared sensor that's supported by a structure built from brass rods. These rods also act as the electrical connection between the sensor and the Arduino. Among all the drink temperature monitors, it's one of the most innovative and easy to use. What are your thoughts on this? So, these were some of the good Arduino project ideas that you can try. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We'll be back with some great project ideas soon. Till then, goodbye!